Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Resident Evil Dead Aim. This is a game that I've um, been kind of interested in for a very long time. Uh, it arrived a couple of weeks ago. Now, this is a game that I basically know nothing whatsoever about. Now, you may hear me drinking and stuff uh, throughout this. That's because I've come down with a, a, a touch of the old T-virus. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but I got hit in the face with a sledgehammer. Or at least that's the way it felt when I woke up. And I've got a real bad uh, <laughs> cold coming on. But anyway, this game has been on my shelf for a little while. Now, I know it's part of the Resident Evil... Um, Gun Survivor series, which mm, is a bit of a mixed bag, uh, putting it lightly. But this one actually looks the most promising out of all of them. Now, you get kind of like a third person mode when you're walking around. And then when you go to fight enemies, you go into like a first person kind of light gun mode. Kind of. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Now, story-wise, I know nothing. I've skipped all the cutscenes. I just fired up the game to see how it would run via emulation and all that kind of stuff. Seems to work fine. So, had a little bit of slowdown and lag on certain parts uh, during my test video. Fiddling with the emulator uh, settings and stuff. I think I've eliminated all of that now, anyway. So... Um, one thing I did read was a review of the game. Uh, the review basically said, hard is brokenly hard because of the controls. Easy is ridiculously easy to the point where there's no point playing it. So we're going to go normal. Um, the only thing that I know from the little bit that I played earlier is we appear to be on a ship, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> this is technically the third Resident Evil game. Uh, well, I guess this one was probably the second. But we now have three Resident Evil games that are based on a ship, which is kind of interesting. You had Resident Evil Gaiden on the GBA. Uh, this, and of course, um, what was it called? Revelations 1. So, let's head into this anyway and see what it's all about. The other thing I have heard is this game is quite short. So I'm going to mute the mic whilst the intro plays. And I'll catch you guys in a minute. Raccoon City, a midwestern town in the United States was destroyed when a substance known as the T-Virus leaked throughout the town. However, Umbrella, the corporation developing the virus, refused to abort the project. And once again, the threat of biological terror was thrust upon the world. A large amount of T-Virus was stolen three days ago when a terrorist group hit an Umbrella lab in France. Yesterday, one of Umbrella's cruisers was hijacked and contaminated with the same virus. Okay, so the subtitles don't match up at all to what the guy's saying, which is kind of annoying straight away. What? What? Morpheus. Morpheus. Okay. Getting a very cheesy feeling from this already. If that cheap balloon you're wearing is going to your head, what do you plan to do with the T-Virus? I'm afraid that's all the playtime we have for today. Uh-huh. No, I guess that's a casual grenade. Well, wow. <laughs> um, 
That's one way to break the, the, the stalemate up, I guess. Just casually throw a grenade at them. Um, yeah, a bit of an odd start. Like I said, I, I didn't see this intro. I skipped this. Just to test the game. So, looks like our main villain's called Morpheus. Didn't catch our name. On top of everything, someone's hocking grenades at us. Well, it's certainly um, a modern Resident Evil game, I guess. Even though it's not, not really that modern. Almost 15 years old. Okay. Ah, and this is where we start. Right, so let's examine our inventory. We got 16 rounds of 9mm. We have a 9mm handgun. We have an F8 spray. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, we're called Bruce McGavern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever, Capcom. Whatever. Doesn't, doesn't even matter. Um, now, options. The buttons in this game, the controls, are very, very strange. And we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, we have aim adjustment. Does nothing. G-Con 2, but we don't have a G-Con 2. Controller settings. Okay. Sneak. Well, that's something I didn't know. So... Okay, it's pretty standard stuff. So, we can move forwards and backwards by using the D-pad. Left and right on the D-pad turn us. However, um, what would I guess be R1 puts us into this kind of first-person shooty, um, light gun-esque mode. Now, it... This is okay. It's not too bad. But you can't aim up or down. Keep that in mind. Um, I was trying to obviously go for headshots and things with zombies. But you can't. Uh, whether whether you had free aim with a, with a light gun, I don't know. I'm assuming you would. Uh, rest of the interface is, is fine. It works fine. Um, yeah. Very strange. And then you push what would be my trigger, our trigger, to reload, but it should be R2. Very interesting controls. Now the left stick does exactly the same as the D-pad, although I find the D-pad is a lot better. Anywho, let's start opening some doors and seeing what the hell's going on. Uh, zombies, eh? Doesn't appear to be a lot to interact with, either. I was trying to examine a lot of this stuff. Ooh, bullets. Ah! Another thing I should mention. Yes, we're going to take the rounds. We have a very strict-looking inventory by the look of things. We can only hold six things um, in our bullet bag, I guess. So that could get tight. Life and key items. Doesn't appear to be a limit on that. Nor weapons. Never obviously found any other weapons, so... Okay, we cannot open the door. The map is interesting as well. Uh, oh, do we have any files? Oh, I guess we do have a file. Intelligence Operations Manual. Good morning, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. Uh, this time, your target is a former executive of Umbrella named Morpheus. Hmm. Uh, this man has stolen the T-Virus and hijacked Umbrella's cruiser. Of course. Okay. Your mission is to infiltrate the cruiser and report the status immediately to the base of strategic f to the base of strategic forces. Uh huh. We've prepared some equipment for you to review. Good luck. Items. Your standard equipment consists of a handgun, some recovery items for first aid. However, you'll find other useful items during the mission. Some of them are essential items which you will need to proceed, like keys for locked doors and special tools. Also, uh, by using the sneak move, now I don't know anything about this, the sneak move, you'll be able to locate items more easily. Ah, okay. Every time you receive damage, your status will vary as follows. Sorry about that. Uh, fine caution danger. Uh huh. View the status screen. Uh, press the start button. I'm going to keep muting the mic every time I'm going to cough. 
Uh, view the status screen, press the start button, and keep your status at fine with... Yeah, 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 sure, 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 sure. If you fight against two or more enemies at close range, you'll almost certainly be damaged. Really? Okay. Uh, furthermore, if you're surrounded by enemies, move quickly to keep enough distance between you and them. Uh-huh. And then target them. In case you're cornered, use the escape button to evade. I uh, don't know what that is. Okay. Shooting. Your amount of ammo is limited. Therefore, do not shoot more than is necessary. And always aim for the enemy's fatal spot. What the hell is that? It's head, I assume. Uh, although the number of bullets you can carry is limited, you can resupply indefinitely. I don't... I don't know what that means. So, I guess there are places in the game that have unlimited ammo that you can constantly pick up. Uh, I assume. Anywho, let's continue. Yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We know all that stuff. Looks like we have a zombie on the floor here. Either that or somebody's drunk too much wine. Hmm, probably a combination. Let's move on. Hey, zombies. Ooh, God. Look at this. Gee, what a mess. Well, let's have a little look at this door. What have we got? There is a keycard lock on the door. Well, okay, keycard locks it. Right, ah, okay, so this is sneaking. I guess. <laughs> and it looks completely ridiculous. But apparently, this allows us to find items easier. Okay, game, if you say so. Right, well, let's keep moving. What's through? Oh, hello, uh, lady. I don't know if there's a way we can look at her. Oh, that's interesting. We can actually... Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure why it's red there. Ah, well, maybe we'll never know. Okay, looks like we're not getting through that door. Come on, Brucey boy. Let's keep going. Ooh, hello. Right. So that's flashing. If we go into sneak mode... Doesn't seem to do anything different, mind you. What have we got? Upper deck's map taken. That's handy. He's. It's still holding something. It. It's a dead body. Take the first class key. Yeah, sure. Okay, so we have a key. Ooh, hear that. So I think just hit the deck. Was it this lady? This is no longer a lady. Oh, yes. Yeah, the zombies sound a bit pants. To be fair, the graphics are okay, but the zombies do sound pretty bad. Right, there we go. Shoot her in the throat. Now, come on. Remember, I can't aim up or down. Uh, oh, God. Oh, hello. She's getting up. See, that's kind of aiming up and down there. That is completely automatic. I have no control over that whatsoever. Again, very strange. And the cat's meowing at the door. Wonderful. Cat, shut up. Uh, have no idea what that's about. Oh, God. Zombies getting up everywhere now. Hello, my friend. Oh, God. Let's try and back away a little bit. There we go. I don't know why we can't just aim up and shoot them in the head. I have no idea. Are you dead? Are you going to get up? Yeah, you're dead. Get out of here. Seems to be closed. You cannot open the door. Okay. Well, we need a key card for that one. What about through here? I'll be happy of finding some bullets. And yeah, I apologize for walking into walls and stuff. The controls are really bad. Not terrible, but just really fiddly. I wasn't sure what, oh, hello, bullets. What I was gonna expect, to be honest. Um, but Resident Evil 4, uh, 5, and ugh, if I dare even say it, 6, kind of precision is not what you have here. It's kind of like a hybrid moving mode. Um, <sighs> yeah, they kind of slapped two kind of genres together here and it hasn't worked brilliantly so far. I mean, like I say, it's not terrible, but it's not perfect either. Right, let's keep going. Nope, that's not the door we want to go through. There's no quick turn either. That kind of... Um, 
threw me off a little bit. I keep trying to quick turn around because that's such a fable these days. Um, <clears throat> well, such a staple, I should say. But no, you, you can't quick turn either. Hey, zombie. Let me help you with that disability of yours. Now, he flashed red there. I don't know why. I don't know if that's to indicate a critical hit or not. I'm not sure. I know there's another one down here. There we go. Now, zombies don't seem to take many rounds, which is good. Um, not sure where to go now. Let's have a little look at our map. Right. So that's where we've been. I'm assuming the blue marks are broken doors. And red appear to be doors that we can go through. That's, th that's very odd. Um, yeah, that doesn't seem very Resident Evil at all. But, you know, whatever. That's okay. How do we exit? Start. Gotcha. Seems to be locked. Can I open the door? Fair enough. What about the other door? What about this? Can't fiddle with that either. Interesting. I know some zombies drop stuff as well. Um, but it's pretty obvious when they do. Yeah, so this place looks to be the meat of this mansion. Okay, something behind the painting, is there? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Uh, now, the graphics are quite nice. No real complaints with the graphics at all. Ah, so that's kind of like a weird transition when you go to go down a floor. That's kind of the birth of Venus. It's kind of like a weird transition there. I'm not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Right. Oh, what's that? A green herb. Yeah, we'll take the green herb. Nice. I wonder if we get red herbs as well. I wonder if we can mix stuff up. No idea. Anything there? No. Right. Can we go this way? The door won't open. It appears to be a shutter on the other side. Fair enough. And the same on that. I guess we're going to get the same on the other two as well. Maybe. Let's try it out. Yeah, shutter. Fair enough. So, I, now, I wonder, if we look on the map, has it updated those doors to look like we can't go through them? Okay. Not really. It's kind of, kind of quite odd, actually, what's done there. Hmm. Okay, right. Anyway, let's go back upstairs. Carl Brucey. There's got to be a door around here that we can get through. Now, I did do that test video, and I got a little bit further than this, but I can't really remember it, to be honest. Uh, it was a few days ago. And the cat is attacking my foot. Thanks for that. Now, I'm guessing we need to find a key card. Oh, zombies! Zombies everywhere. Dead zombies. Ah, hello. What are we... Right. Documents lay scattered on the floor. Yeah, see, so doing that doesn't really, it doesn't change anything. What is this? Ah, the guest key card. Well, we take that sucker. Oh, hello. Come on then, my friends, this way. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know there's enemies around. Sit down, bitch. A little more for you, sir. Go on. Uh, two more rounds. Oh, that's weird. That kind of auto-locked onto her. I don't know how that did that. Hey, she dropped some bullets. That's what we want. There are documents laying scattered about. Anything good? Emergency fra uh, frax. Facts from Paris branch. Date September 18, 2002. To... Uh, uh, today, three T-virus samples have been stolen from this Paris lab. Our prime suspect is Morpheus D. Duval, who belonged to the R&D division of HQ. His motiv uh, motivations appear to be based upon retaliation against our company. Oh, why? Therefore, we are sending out his general, this general warning to all divisions. Anyone who obtains any information regarding this matter should contact HQ immediately. Regards, Umbrella Corporation Paris. Hmm. You added the documents to your file. Now, yeah, we'll take the rounds too. 
if we remember back to Code Veronica, um, Claire was investigating a Paris lab, wasn't wasn't she? Before she got captured, which is kind of odd. Is that a herb? That is a herb. Okay, cool. Green herbs do kind of stick out like a sore thumb. Right, anyway, we have a key card. So let's make our way back to the key card door. Hello. Oh, okay. It's kind of strange. I'm not sure how limited ammo is going to be. I'm going to assume ammo is not limited at all. With what it said earlier. That you can resupply uh, indefinitely. What? That's a very poor choice of words. You can resupply indefinitely. Oh, shit. What does that mean? Does that mean there's like tons of resupply points? Like special box rooms, maybe. Can these guys come downstairs? That would be something worth knowing. I can't aim up. That's another thing worth noting. Right. Let's take this guy out anyway. Sit down, sir. Who's next? Wow, they're all kind of grouping together. A grenade would be wonderful. Oh, damn, critical hit. Good thing there's tons of ammo on this ship. I don't really need to fight those guys. Although we do have plenty of bullets. Alright, area's clear. We clean this place out. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I bet there's going to be tons of enemies through there. This place was stuffed with bodies, remember? Yeah, that's okay. Oh, okay, here we go. What the hell? Why did you... Okay. Don't even know what happened there. Come on. Keep him back. Hold the line, Brucey. Oh, get off me, you dick. Alright, you got lucky. You got the lucky first kiss. What? Why? Why? I don't understand how this is kind of working. It seems to be jumping from target to target somehow. No, I'm trying to aim at her, please. There we go, headshot. Yeah, this is strange, man. I don't know. Okay, all right, let's shoot our way. Yeah, like, it seems to automatically change to a target halfway through whilst you're shooting one, which is really not good. Any more, are they all dead? Ah, look, he's got stuff. Yes, definitely wants bullets. We're blowing through our bullets pretty quick. Looks like he bends down to take a dump on that guy. Hmm, weird. So what is this sneaking stuff all about? Doesn't seem to be showing us up anything. Anyway, let's continue. You used the guest key card. Now, I don't know where we save it or anything, but luckily we have these F1 safe states. Hello? Five billion dollars. Five billion dollars. Wait, is this us now or what? Oh, hello. Okay. It's kind of out of nowhere. Well, there goes our walkie talkie. Wait, wait, you saved me earlier. You're Chinese security bureau, huh? Looks like we're in the same business. Oh dear. Terrible acting. Business doesn't mean same side together. You already know my name. That makes sense since you're blackmailing both of our What? Yeah, they like their slow-mo, don't they? What's really? your name? Cooperation is too much to ask for on our first date. Might I suggest we simply stay out of each other's way? Fong Lin, that's my name. And I don't date freshmen. If you really want to help, then go ahead. Okay, <clears throat> I was going to say that was cringy and terrible and embarrassing. But you guys saw that as well, so you don't need me to tell you that. Yeah, that was genuinely terrible. Um, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Okay, never mind. Anyway, so she's an agent. She's not necessarily hostile. There's an electronic lock on the door. Okay. Um, our guy is a complete and utter dumbass of the highest caliber. Which I suppose is fairly standard. Interesting. Okay. So I get. Ooh. What are these? Is that a map? Nope. It just says stairs. Right. Let's go down here. See what we can find. Yeah, I, what the hell was that all about? Uh, 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 absolute shite. Seems to be closed. Okay. What else have you got for me? Seems to be closed. And, ooh. Really? We're going to be hunting. Oh, hello. What do we have here? This panel controls the electronic lock. Okay. There is a keycard slot here. You used. Ah. So, second floor doors are now open. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's go hunt around the VIP rooms. Now, I don't know if... I was going to say if this was ever an arcade game. I mean, I can't imagine it ever being an arcade game. Um, but... I get the feeling that... I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a console game, if that makes sense. It kind of feels really odd. Yeah. Oh, shit! He's... Ah, Christ, he's had his red ball. Red ball? Red ball. Tear into a can of monster, alright? Sit down, buddy boy. That actually made me jump. He was a tough cookie, too. Oh, shit. Alright, looks like we're going to have a lot of zombies. Nice headshot. I wish I could aim for their, like, vitals. I wish I could plant these guys round in the head, but it's just... I don't know. I might look into it a little bit later. There has to be more control than that. It just seems odd. Oh, look, that's an explosive crate. I wish I'd realised that before. These guys are all dead. Okay, so this is another way. I'd imagine that that leads to the same area. We are running out of bullets big time. Going to have to start picking our battles a little bit more carefully. Anywho, let's... Seems to be closed, 202. What about this door? Okay, looks clear. Seems to be closed. Zombies. What the hell was that? And now I was not talking about the cat. Oh shit! Ah, oh, so they're gonna be pulling this on us. We got no way of getting out of this without shooting our way out. Oh god. Mistakes were made. Come on. Conserve your ammunition. Oh god. We've got about a mag and a half left. Not great, to be honest. Where the hell are we on in this ship? This is really mazy actually. Uh let's go for the map. Right. Yeah, so these are both the same areas. So we're gonna make our way into the lounge. Gotcha. Alright, the map is actually pretty good. Oh, we can go in here. Please be bullets. Looks like we might be in luck. Ooh, the silencer handgun. Really? Why? Oh, we'll take it. Does it do any more damage? I don't know if, the, if we have any way of examining the guns. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, it holds less ammo, but it's silenced, so the zombies can't hear us. If uh, I guess that's cool. Not sure why. Unless there are other enemies later on. But I'm hoping we get more than just handguns. Anyway, guys, we're actually on half an hour there, so I'm going to save this game here. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. I'm, yeah.
yeah, I'm enjoying this game. The story is a total and utter bag of ass, um, and the acting is, uh, is embarrassing, but it's fun, and I'm I'm interested to see where this goes. So thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.